everyone. My name is Jackie Castro Cooper. I am a physical therapist. I have a master's and I wanted to do this video for all the parents in the world that have children with multiple, multiple self taste deficiency with MSD. This video is also for you, the physical therapist or occupational therapist or massage therapist, manual therapist that are interested in doing this work. I want to dispel any kind of uh, fears that some therapists might have, and also parents, grandparents, and siblings that would be interested in treating these amazing, beautiful children. Um, I've been treating Willow about a year and a half, and I'm gonna introduce you right now to Willow's mother because um, she's gonna tell you about what MSD is real quick, and also the benefits that uh, the doctors have found for Willow. So go ahead, Amy. Okay. All right, I'm Amber, I'm Willow's mom. Um, Willow has this very rare condition called multiple sulfatase deficiency. Um, it's similar to like ALS, um, or even we call it Alzheimer's in a child. So um, her cells are th slowly dr dying throughout her body. It's a regressive condition. Um, so when she was born, she was fine, and just slowly over time, um, she's regressed. Um, so the reason that it, Sorry, <laughs> trying to multitask it. The reason that um, this helps her, um, Jackie will talk about, but um, so her body's getting very rigid and straight and stiff. Um, and we, should we give her medication for that? And then Jackie treats her. She also has um, another few treats that, that treats her. Uh, but it's been very helpful. The doctors have said, like, this has been amazing how she's still can move some, um, she's still very active and aware, um, and she's not contractured, so I guess she'll talk about that yeah. one that is, but and she's also not stuck. it helps to remove the gunk out. Yes, so that that's... helps alleviate the trash and move things through, and um, she has her rib cage is coming up, so part of her condition is bone abnormality, or, or gro the bones are growing crooked, mm -hmm. and she has scoliosis, um, because she sits in a chair and doesn't stand up like we need to. So all of these things help her, um, helps her get better. Okay, yeah. wonderful, all right, thank all right. you. So right now what I'm doing is I'm doing some cranial sacral work. Um, you can call it also fascial cranium. I am a John F. Barnes mild fascia release trained therapist. And so right now we are decreasing her fascial, uh, the restrictions in her fascial system. So what is fascia? Fascia is just another ah, word. Good job. What is fascia? Fascia is just another word for connective tissue. So if you imagine your whole body as a three-dimensional web with freedom to move, hers is stuck in several areas, specifically also in the abdominal region where it sometimes gets too tight and it uh, inhibits her um, elimination process. And we all know that when we cannot eliminate, then we have problems um, getting in nutrition into the 25, 27 feet of intestines that we have. Um, the cranial hold is uh, releasing her entire body all the positions that you'll see in this video are held from uh, five for five minutes or more, and that has a lot of research-based evidence. Uh, if you want to look into that, uh, the John F. Barnes myofascial release uh, treatment. Uh, but if you don't know how to do this, I just want this to be really easy and simple for you. So if you are a parent, if you are a grandparent, if you are a sibling or a member of the family, you can also treat the child. So there's really no intense uh, uh, education training that you need. It's just very simple. I'm now holding, um, I just put my hands around her ears like this or here. You can't do a mistake, of course. Um, we are treating uh, the brain right now. So we are decreasing her tone, actually. So this is really point specific. It's really cool. She's going into a little bit of a still point right now. So she's kind of like, feeling and noticing what's happening. Now she's moving a little bit. Um, we have done it in the past with her amazing nurse, Jessica. She's put her on, uh, yes, we love Jessica too. She's put her on the um, pulse oximeter and afterwards the um, pulse ox went to 100. So this is really amazing for the um, uh, breathing and oxygen levels as well, oxygen saturation. 
So um, that's the, we're just gonna finish up here. And now the other positions that I'm going to do are going to be quick because I don't want this to be a long video. I'm gonna show you the positions that I normally do with Willow. Um, and, uh, uh, and so right now we're gonna go to, I'm gonna go skin on skin, one hand behind the chest, right here, and then the other one right here. So we've been keeping Willow's sternum and ribs from extending too much. Um, so that's why I treat her once a week. And so I always come in and I see if there's a little bit of play in the sternal region. And today's really doing really good. So her family and her nurse must be working on her a lot. This helps with coughing. Um, some of the children won't have the ability to cough at times. So if your child does not have that ability, go ahead and do this little, I call this a sandwich position, right? I got a little piece of bread back here and a nice piece of bread up here. And then Willow is my meat and I hold this position to decrease the fascial restrictions that she has. We don't want anything to be tight within her body, especially in the lung region. Um, so this is extremely helpful to, for her to breathe and to cough. So I would stay here five, maybe 10 minutes or longer. As she softens, my hands come a little closer together. So I don't force or push into it. It's very gentle, sustained pressure for five minutes or more. And then I'm, I slowly release. So let's just pretend that I was here for about five or 10 minutes. Now I'm just gonna release very, very slowly. And then the next position I really love to do is the same sandwich position. I call it the sandwich position. It's not the correct terminology, but I think it makes more sense. And then I put the other hand right here and we stay here for about five minutes or more. Um, this does encourage Willow to poop and to urinate. And that's what we want. We are sending messages to her brain right now. Yes, to activate our, the, her intestinal system to have uh, motility, right? To make sure that she's eliminating and of course absorbing. You'll see my hands are starting to go in a little deeper and my fingers are going in a little deeper because she's softening and she's letting me go in. So if her belly is tight, I won't uh, force. I just, I would stay here in this position, but if she gets um, um, nice and melty like the Pillsbury Doughboy, then I go in. Um, and we will continue here for about five or 10 minutes normally. Right now, I'm gonna just gently release here. Okay, now what I do is I um, go ahead and check her arms and hands. I don't do any pulling, right? Because with tone, you don't wanna pull or stretch. You wanna do a little bit more compression. So that's why you'll see mostly compression here. Taking her elbow, and just pressing her uh, wrist into it, but right now I'm just going to straighten her wrist because I like to check to make sure that she doesn't have any contractures. So easy to move, wonderful. And her family and her nurse, uh, they all take really great care of her. So that's when you treat, you really want to be able to teach everyone to treat because whoever's got her can do just one little position. So this is real easy to do. Thumb is moving really nicely, wrist is moving beautifully. I love that. You're doing so good.